I'm going to show you how I begin raising a vessel from a copper from a copper disc. This is uh, a five inch disc. I have uh, an oak stump here with a small depression in it and I'm going to use an ordinary ball peen hammer. Before we begin I'm going to take my copper disc and find the center and mark it with a center punch. So uh, I know that this is a five inch disc and I'll set my dividers to two and a half inches and I'm going to leave the divider point just outside of the mark here because when you have the dividers we're going to make a little scratch mark like this then we're going to turn the disc and make another scratch mark and that could be the center but uh, often is the case I'm going to make a third mark just to make sure that we're in the right place and a little fourth mark here and I seem to be really close okay just open this up just a hair more and there's my there's my center so now I'll take a, a block a center punch set that into the mark here and give it a light tap now when we raise the uh, when we start to do the hammering to raise the the vessel we want to make sure that this mark is on the outside what I'll be doing is I'll be stretching the metal by striking it from the outside in a spiral direction going in toward the center and I'll do this twice so I'll begin by using the the back side of the depression and then I just move the disc along as I am hammering to that side of the depression. As I move in toward the center, you can see that it's getting a little wrinkled and it's also feeling a little harder. The metal is not quite as soft, even though it is still annealed and hasn't been hit in the center yet. And already you can see we have like a little, you know, candy dish, candy dish kind of shape. This is all wrinkled and I'm going to start to take this out by doing it the second time now. By striking a little bit closer than I did the first time. And you can see that the second time starts to straighten out, you know, some of these wrinkles. I'm striking also more toward the center of the depression, you know, the second time. And you can see what the uh, the shape looks like here on the outside.
I sort of go over back and, and hit areas that have not been put down till I have roughly a, a mushroom cap shape. Now I'm going to strike it again, but this time I'm going to start from the center and work my way out. The object this time is to remove as many of these, you know, like big lumps, as you see on the on the outside, and make this as smooth as I can. Now I'm going to move it to the like flatter side here as I get close to the edge because I don't want to bring this edge around to this, you know, just bring it all the way around, which could happen. Uh, that makes it more difficult when you start to raise the sides on our after annealing. And there we have it. This is the, the first start and it should be annealed now and then I can set the base a little bit and start to raise the sides. I'm going to give it just a few more taps because I see a little lumps here I want to bring down. <laughs> 